In Fox 5 Health News, the city's health department warning doctors that meningitis cases are on the rise, saying so far this year there have been 11 cases in the five boroughs, including one death. All right, join us now, Dr. Jacob Kurgan with Maimonides Health. Doctor, thanks for being with us. So this is another one of these stories where something that there's a vaccine mm. for that was seemingly mostly yeah. under wraps is sort of sprouting up again. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, bacterial meningitis, which is what uh, has been going on here is is a pretty dangerous uh, thing. You know, mm -hmm. 10 to 15 percent of people who get it, even if they get the correct treatment, can still die. Mm -hmm. Another 10 percent on top of that will get some long-term issue, like uh, you know they can get amputated limbs. You know, it's it's not Jeez, a it's yeah. not a benign disease. It's a pretty scary thing. And how is it spread? So it's spread. Uh, bacterial meningitis is spread a little bit more. Um, difficult than your common cold, mm -hmm. but sharing saliva or if you have kids like me who cough in your face, no, um, my whole life. that will that will spread it. Uh -huh. So it's sort of contact with yeah. uh, saliva or other respiratory secretions. So if you get vaccinated, are you protected? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The, the short answer is yes. The long answer is uh, it's not perfect, but it's much better. Mm -hmm. And the, the majority of people who um, got the disease recently are unvaccinated. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, there you go. All right. Well, next Monday, the solar eclipse will block out about 90% of the sun in this area. And the number one concern as the skies go dark is eye safety. Everyone wants to think they're the person that could look at this without their glasses <laughs> I'm stronger on. stronger than the sun. Yeah, exactly. And that's a bad idea. I mean, again, like meningitis, the repercussions of this might be more serious than you think. If you look at the sun for six seconds in this, eclipse yes. you could lead to some you know potentially yeah. long-term damage it's not recommended it's mm -hmm. not worth it um, there are uh, potentially long-term effects you know people who like you said have looked at it for six seconds said oh I'm gonna be fine and then they forever have this black area where they can't see anything Unreal. yeah um, basically the the Sun can burn a hole into the retina that's the like light sensitive part of your eye mm -hmm. yeah. and it can go away. Sometimes it doesn't go away, and if it does go away, it can take months mm -hmm. or even a year. So it's um, it's a real it's a real danger. I mean, we just saw footage there of people then using kind of these glasses to take a look at it. But then there's so many different glasses when you go online. There's yeah. some that range from like ten bucks to like sixty bucks. I mean, what are you looking for in these glasses? So it's hard to know. You know, the internet is a kind of the wild west in many ways. But uh, a good thing you could do is go to an accredited institution like uh, the American Astronomical Society, they have a link to things that have been tried and, okay. and tested. And uh, those are the ones you want to use. Don't use sunglasses. They're not going to work. Don't use uh, $5 uh, cheapy glasses. They're going to mess with your eyes. Yeah, yeah good, and good reminder, good warning for sure. No yes. point messing with that. All right, Dr. Kirk, we appreciate it. Thanks Thank so much. You. Nice to see you.